The Biden administration is touting progress made through the 2021 bipartisan infrastructure law as Election Day draws closer. The Department of Transportation this week released a video promoting the Build America, Buy America Act enacted under the law. It requires all federally funded infrastructure projects to be built with American-made materials. According to the White House, more than 50,000 projects are currently underway. We've had hard Joining us now, U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. Secretary, thanks so much for being here with us. Good to be with you. I want to talk about your department's focus on the Build America, Buy America Act, but I have to start with today's big news out of the Supreme Court. What is your reaction to the unanimous ruling that preserves access to Mifepristone for so many women across this country? Well, I know there's a measure of relief about the ruling. Unfortunately, it doesn't change the bigger picture that the uh, right to access to abortion in this country under Roe versus Wade uh, is over, uh, was ended by the Trump administration and the court that it created. Uh, and that withdrawal of rights and freedoms from millions of women across America uh, continues to create these vulnerabilities where there are questions over uh, the availability of medication, the availability of birth control, and we're seeing continued conservative efforts to attack IVF as well. Uh, we're really living in a new era, and it's one of the reasons our administration is committed to making sure that women's health care, uh, women's rights, and women's access to abortion continues to have as much support as possible under the law. And turning back to the Build America by America Act, obviously you have been talking about different parts of the infrastructure law. Why is your department now focusing on this particular piece of it? Well, we want to draw attention to uh, another benefit of all of these infrastructure projects that sometimes isn't as well publicized. Obviously, when we build a bridge, when we expand an airport, when we deepen a port, uh, the completion of that project marks a benefit for everybody who is going to use it or count on it. But even while we're still building it, while that construction is going on, and all across America we're seeing a lot of construction going on right now, that's creating a benefit, too, because of the good-paying jobs that it creates. President Biden's focus on the Buy America concept and the, the law behind it, being the Build America, Buy America Act, uh, makes sure that American taxpayer dollars go to American projects, uh, products, uh, that the, uh, uh, everything from uh, uh, the, the services that, that uh, go into a, a construction effort to the steel uh, is uh, made in America. One of the things that uh, I was able to do just a few days ago that was so moving I was to go to Steelton uh, to spend time uh, in this Pennsylvania community with the workers who literally make the railroads that America's rails run on. They can take one look at a rail and just by eyeballing it, tell you whether it's going to the metro system in DC or an Amtrak line uh, in, uh, in the West. And it's just absolutely extraordinary to see what they achieve. By the way, US steel also much cleaner than uh, Chinese steel, for example, uh, in terms of the emissions, the pollutions that it creates, much better, cleaner techniques here. So we just want to make sure we're focusing on the men and women who are actually, literally, doing the building that the Biden infrastructure package is funding with 50,000 projects and counting all across the country. Um, I'm so glad you brought up that conversation in Pennsylvania. A lot of those men and women were union members in Pennsylvania. A recent CBS News poll shows that while the president is leading Trump among union households in Michigan, they are tied in the Keystone State. And I, I wonder why you think that is and if you're doing anything in particular to reach out to those voters. Well, I can't talk about the campaign while I'm uh, in this capacity, but I will say this. Uh, President Biden is proud of this administration being the most pro-union administration in modern American history, including making history by being the first sitting president to go out to a picket line when he stood with the UAW workers in their quest for the historic contract that they won. Uh, look, there's been a very clear difference in policy between our administration and the more anti-union uh, policies that uh, took place during the Trump administration. Uh, we believe this is the right thing to do 
because we know that unions have created the kind of income and job security that built the American middle class. And uh, we're going to keep doubling down on that in all of the work that we're doing across the country, especially when it comes to things that I have the privilege of working on, like uh, the construction of uh, bridges and, and, and airports and, and, and uh, railroads and everything else that we're funding uh, through this historic infrastructure package. And before I let you go, Secretary, today the chair of the House Administration Committee, Brian Steele, he sent uh, subpoenas to 15 members of the Biden cabinet, including you, related to the executive order on promoting access to voting, which of course was from 2021. And he wrote in this letter that he's concerned and that Congress's delegation of authority to the Department of Transportation does not include using funds and resources to provide Americans with voter registration materials. Uh, your response, Secretary? Uh, well, uh, uh, heard about this, uh, saw the uh, media coverage of this, and uh, we'll review it, uh, try to get an understanding of uh, uh, what it is they're talking about. And look, uh, we, we always uh, engage with Congress whenever they reach out with an oversight question or concern. I'm sure that process will play out here as well. And uh, we're uh, happy to answer any legitimate questions or concerns uh, about the work that we're doing in the Department of Transportation and across the administration. Uh, just quickly, uh, has your department used any funds and resources to provide yeah, we, Americans we still need, with... We still need to review this uh, material that's come in and get a sense of, of what the concern might be. Uh, but we're happy to answer any legitimate concern and we'll look into it. So you do intend to comply with the subpoena? Uh, again, we just got it. So uh, we'll, we'll, okay. we'll figure out uh, exactly what they're asking and we'll uh, respond appropriately. Understood. Secretary Pete Buttigieg, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.